Hello, this is Tamisha with Educational Tutoring Centers with a problem for you from the Barron's ASVAB Preparation Book. This is um, page 477, number 12. Okay, This is a, um, a problem that comes from the Math Knowledge sub subtest number 5, or subtest 5. So let's see what we have here. Pencil. Okay, so it, the question says, what is the product? And remember that product means to multiply. Okay, so what is the product of this binomial, this binomial, and this binomial? And the way you would read that is the quantity of, quantity, because it's like a package here, the quantity of A plus 2, times the quantity of a minus 5 times the quantity of a plus 3. So let's take two binomials at once and uh, multiply, the, multiply those two by each other using the FOIL method. And for people that are fairly new to the FOIL method, I like to write it down like this. And it just tells you to order um, to multiply these in. So the F stands for first. The O stands for the outside, I stands for the inside, and L stands for the last. Okay, so this is the first term of each binomial. So it's A times A, which is equal to A squared. And then the outside terms of each binomial, which is A Times, and I always take the sign in front of it. If you don't see a sign, that means it's positive. So a times negative 5, which is equal to negative 5a. And then you have the inside terms, which is the inside of the two binomials. So that's 2 times a, which is 2a. And then we have the last, which is here and here. The last of those two. And by the way, if you had chosen any of the two binomials to multiply, it would have been okay because the answer is still going to come out the same. It's just kind of like saying 3 times 2 times 4 or 2 times 4 times 3. The answer is always going to come out the same if you do it right. So that's negative 10. Okay, now um, here we see that we have two terms that we can combine so it's combining like terms because the variable is the same on both of those if you notice on here the variable is a squared these variables are just a and this one doesn't have a variable at all so we can combine those two we have a negative 5a which will be combined with 2a and so since we're further we have a greater negative number our answer is going to be negative um, if we were multiplying or dividing, the rules are different. Um, if you're multiplying or dividing integers and uh, you have opposite signs of two terms, you're going to have a negative. If the signs of the two uh, variable terms are positive or they're both negative, otherwise if they're both the same, the answer is going to come out positive. So anyway, uh, this is like being negative 5 degrees outside and the temperature rises two more degrees well, will be negative three degrees so that now how do we write these all out as um, a product I'm just gonna block this off here and write it out we put this in uh, descending order according to the exponent on your variable terms so we start out with the highest exponent on our variable which is square so it's a squared listed first <clears throat> and then here once we combine those this was the result of that and um, if you don't see an exponent on your variable this is understood to be one so then we take the sign that's in front so minus three a no I don't need to write the exponent of one and then this one is just a constant term with no variable so it's really considered a to the zero power, which is just equal to equivalent to one. So that's what that would result in. 
And let me show you this because you may need this a to the 0 power is equal to 1, okay? So then that 1 times that negative 10 is just still negative 10. <clears throat> if I had um, 15 raised to the 0 power, the answer would be 1. Anything raised to a 0 power, the answer is 1. Okay, so this is the trinomial that is the product of two binomials. So now we're going to multiply by another binomial. So... We can write this just like a three-digit number times a two-digit number, okay? So just like you would multiply 532 times 12, and you'll multiply this times this, this times this, this times this, this times this. We're doing the same thing. So here, 3 times negative 10 is negative 30. This 3 times is negative 3a is negative 9a. 3 times a squared would be 3a squared. And then you could put a placeholder to 0 like you would do here once you got down to the second level. Or you could just say a times this negative 10, <clears throat> which is negative 10a. And we line all the things up that look alike because in order to add them, they have to have, um, they have to be like terms. Okay, so a times negative 3a would be a negative 3a squared. And a times a squared would be a cubed. Alright, so now... So now we have um, to add them together, just like when we do our multiplication, we add their, the products of those two levels. So we're going to do the same thing here. So negative 30 plus 0, or nothing's there, is negative 30. And then we have a negative 9a and a negative, and we're adding a negative 10a to it. <clears throat> so if it was negative 9 degrees outside and it the temperature further dropped 10 degrees, we would be at negative 19 degrees, so negative 19A. And, um, and if you notice, with adding and subtracting, we keep the terms the same. We don't change the exponent on making them squares and cubes and all that. That only happens with multiplication and uh, changes with division also, but it goes down with division. Um, so here we have a negative 3a squared, and we're subtracting a 3a squared, so the a squared terms are gone. And then the only thing we have left is a cubed. So this is our answer here. All right, that is it for that problem. Yeah, if you like this type of problems, please click on like. Uh, clicking on like lets me know what type of videos you all would like for me to upload. Um, if you would like to see more videos that I upload, please subscribe. Um, I upload math and science videos. Um, if you're interested in tutoring, face-to-face, -face, phone tutoring, online whiteboard tutoring, which is interactive, um, you can contact our telephone number that's listed here below. Or you can visit our website. Thank you for watching.